Hi guys! Thanks for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch my content. I'm Tanya and I make budget videos with little tips and tricks that I'm learning along the way. I upload videos two times a week and shorts two times a week. So let's get into today's video. In today's video, you can tell what we're going to do by my change tray here. We're going to count February's change. A couple things. Got me a new candle for February, I mean for March. And I switched it up and got me a nice little plant that hopefully I will not kill <laughs> for my little spot right here. So those things have changed. This is my change. This is my husband's change. I don't, I think it's too loud when I combine them. So I will just do each one individually because if I switch this one into this, I feel like with this acrylic that it's a little loud. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Okay. And again, I don't know until I start to edit this video whether or not I'm going to speed it up or whether or not I'm just going to keep talking to you guys. <laughs> it is the 1st of March, so I'm gearing up for hummingbird season. They say to put your feeders out in March for the ones that are traveling through but not going to stay. I have not put them out yet. But I'm going to be gearing up for it. Which means lots of sugar on my grocery list. <laughs> oh. Oh. Because if you guys remember me telling you, we go through a ton of sugar. Because we have a ton of hummingbirds. So I'm kind of excited for that. That means spring slash summer is on its way when they start showing up. Also, hopefully, around this time, usually, uh, my husband's work starts picking up. So, hopefully, we'll be able to start stuffing some of these that we don't stuff, that we haven't been able to stuff. I don't know why that's out of order. That's going to bother me. I know I'm not even messing with those today, but that's going to bother me. What else has been going on? Work has been crazy. Crazy busy, but I don't mind that. It makes the time go by faster. <laughs> what else? Okay, mine is done. Now let's do my husband. I'm still on a mission to declutter my house. It doesn't happen overnight. And honestly, with work being so crazy, a lot of times I'm just so tuckered out by the end. By the time I get home and we have dinner and get everything done, yeah, I'm just tuckered out. So I'm trying really hard since it's a new month to try and figure out.
how to get everything done I need to get done. <laughs> Am I the only one that struggles with that? Please tell me I'm not the only one who struggles with that. So that's my mission for this month. I'm trying to figure out how to use just like my little minutes that I have. It doesn't have to be a lot. You know, even five minutes can make a difference. So that's what I keep trying to tell myself. <laughs> have always been a stay-at-home wife and mother until two years ago. So for 20-some years, I didn't have to worry about a schedule because I had all day to do anything I needed to do around the house. And now that I work outside the house, it's a difficult transition. Even though I've been working outside the house for two years, I am still struggling. And maybe it's just me and my... I was going to say, I going to say perfectionism or whatever you want to call it because I want my house to look like it used to when I was a stay-at-home wife and mother. And maybe I just need to get to that point where I realize it's not going to look that like that now that I'm working full-time outside the house. I don't know. All I know is the struggle is real. <laughs> the struggle is real. So I think I'm going to have enough to do this. Hold on, guys. i got to move my camera so that I can get into the drawer where I keep the change. I think I can do a penny, a quarter, and a nickel, maybe. The weather's been getting nicer. It's been getting warmer. So that's a good thing. That's always a sign. That spring is on its way. Ooh, I just about emptied that one right back out. <laughs> We're going to have a pretty good start, too, for next month's change. Especially with these dimes, because we're, like, right so close. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we're so close with the dimes. I'm sure we'll be able to have the dimes next month to roll. And maybe quarters too. So 
I don't think this is going to be that long of a video. So I probably will not speed it up. So if there's any lulls in the conversation, I'm sorry. <laughs> hard to count and talk at the same time as you guys see in my previous videos where I messed up my heat and didn't even put the ten dollars in by the way I did fix that <laughs> for the next upcoming video okay so this is going to be it for this month but like I said, we do have a pretty good start for next month. So we have, I don't know if you can see it, let me pull it over here. We have 10, 12, 50. So let's see what we have so far this year. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 52, 54, 55, 60, 61. 61 dollars. That's pretty good considering we're, this is only our third month stuffing it, so that's pretty good. I'm happy that's with that. That's all for today's video. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching my content. I really do appreciate it. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the like button. And don't forget to comment and share my videos. Thanks, guys. Be safe and have a great day.